Hi everyone. In this lecture, we're going to take a look at Pythonic interactions with a Postgres database. So the main idea behind this lecture is how you can insert items dynamically, like how you can ask the user to insert those items. So first, let's import Psycop G2, our COP module, and then um, now, basically, the way that I'm going to go about this is we're going to create a function. We have our, we have done somewhat something like similar to this in our previous chapter as well. Just we named it like we want to separate the um, the program logic from the database logic. So we are actually trying to do the same thing here. And uh, I'm going to say insert. In this case, it is sale. So I'm going to say insert sale. I'm going to pass in our connection. I'm going to pass in order uh, number, order type, so basically all the columns, uh, except for one, of course. So I could just grab all the rest of them, and I could just pass them here. So we have customer name, product uh, number, product name, quantity, price, and discount. What about order total? We can calculate order total as well. So we are going to say order underscore total is going to be equal to quantity times a price. Now, what if the discount is not zero? So this works with, uh, this works only if the discount is zero, but what if it is not zero? So we are going to say if, very simple little if statement, if discount is not equal to zero, just not equal to zero, what do we want to do in that case? In that case, the order total is going to be equal to order total, not order num, total, times discount. For example, discount is 90%, so 0.9 times order total, it is going to reduce it by that much. Now, going out of there, so that part is done. Now, we're going to grab our sale data, pass them inside a tuple for security reasons so i'm going to say sale data and i'm going to create so what are our sale data it is order number or type customer name product number product name quantity price discount order total so basically everything so let me grab all of those let me pass them here and add an order total as well so we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine all right, next up, we are going to grab uh, our connection object and we are going to create our cursor. So um, what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to say cursor is going to be equal to connection. There we go, dot cursor. Let's grab the cursor object. The cursor is going to allow us to execute our queries. So we are going to say that we want to insert some data. So I'm going to say insert into, I could pass in another one. I'm going to say insert uh, into sale table. What are the columns? I'm going to, I'm going to give you the columns. So we, are, we already know what the columns are. So these are the columns. And what are the values for these columns? So I'm going to just going to come here. I'm going to say values. So the values are going to be their placeholders. So let's pass uh, those. So I'm going to say, just grab these, copy them. Let's just pass. That's two, three, four, five. And uh, oops, this is going to be, come on, buddy. Six, seven. Eight, I know, I know, I know. And that is nine. So we have four and this is nine, perfect. So we do have our sales. Let me just save this. Now it didn't do anything. Let me bring this, okay, the other one comes down. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I could just tag this on to the end of the other just to make sure it is better readable. I think this is better readable than that. Now we need to pass in our tuple because we did pass in the um, placeholder. So where is the tuple? The tuple is going to come right here and it is going to be sale data. 
Now let's commit these changes. So I'm going to say connection.commit. And now that we have actually committed these, how can we grab these from the database? So let's just extract them as well. Execute. And we are going to say, select. okay, let me just do that. Select. What do we want to grab from the database? We are just going to grab customer name as well as order total from from the sale table where where uh, for example if the user enters any kind of um, let's say w let's say if the user wants to extract any kind of like data from this table the user has to insert something that based on what do you want to do you want to extract that data and we want that what to be order num so when you insert the order num you will be able to extract data and we're going to have a placeholder for that as well the placeholder for that is going to be the order num a, a tuple with one item and we know how we can create that let's grab the rows we are going to say cursor dot fetch all and then we're going to say for row in rows we can basically grab the let me just come down here provide some space let's say customer name so customer name is going to be equal to what it is going to be equal to row row the first item in the row and why am i there okay so the first item in the row and the second item in that row and this is going to be total uh, total order Okay, so because we grab the customer name and the order total from there, we basically just provide it with a meaningful way of that. Hmm. So um, I think I think we are done in this function. There is nothing else I want to add here. And now I'm going to say if the current file is the main module is equal to the main module in which we are actually working then what do i want to do here first let's connect to our database and you might have said okay where is our connection object the connection object is right here and we are going to say scikit g2 dot connect here is our connection we are going to pass in database as uh, company sales company very repetitive i know but something that you need to do every time uh, user is going to be m underscore halali make sure nothing is lost password is going to be equal to this don't look at it it is very very confidential host not joust come on host is going to be local one the local market and port is five four three two save everything so database company sales user password host and port now that we have created the final thing that we are going to do here i know we have done a lot of code and we have not actually checked anything because the code is not completed if you just check it in the middle or in like in the between states it is going to throw errors so what we are going to do is ask the user what the user wants to enter and I'm not going to enter all of them by hand here I'm sure you are going to get what these are we have worked a ton with the input so you know what inputs are why how why do we want to change them to integer this backslash n it is going to create a new line we have taken a look at that as well in the irregular expressions so I'm gonna say insert sale let's grab the insert sale function and we are going to pass in so it requires a connection which i'm going to pass in connection then it requires an order number order type uh, a customer name as well as a product number there we go everything is falling into its place product name then we have quantity price 
and eventually discount remember you do not provide it with the order total because it doesn't accept it as a parameter and we just calculate it there so with that our uh, lecture is nearing its close we need to close this connection as well so connection dot close just to re release these resources and hopefully there are no errors so far so let me run this program it is the name is right here just copy that say python dot py what is the order number so everything is working perfectly fine so let's say i want to pass an order number nine nine eight eight seven seven and like oh what is the type of order retail or wholesale i'm gonna say i am i'm not in the wholesale business i'm just gonna say i'm re retail so i mistyped it what is the customer uh name it is evolutive learning what is the product number i'm gonna say js javascript 9999 make sure to check out my course my javascript course what is the product number uh complete java script uh developer boot camp a little marketing how many were bought uh, so far like a thousand thousand and six or nine i think okay anyway i'm just gonna say ten for now what is the price of the product it is 9.99 what is the discount if there is one so the discount was there that's why it is 999 i'm just going to say discount is zero so customer name is evolutive learning 10 items were purchased each item 9.99 so the total order is going to be 99.9 .9. so this item is now within our database how can we find that so let's say select this from from sale where uh how can we find it let's say where input hmm, hmm, order num i'm gonna say order number is equal to 9988770 hopefully we are able to find it there we go here it is so it is um let me zoom out so it's, I don't think it's any better let's run it again it's the same thing anyway so we have order number which is this order type retail customer name this one product number this one product name this is the product name quantity price discount and order total 99.9 .9. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one. And I am having fun. I'm sure you are having fun as well. So uh, coming up in the next lectures, I'm going to show you how you can work with SQL Alchemy Core and ORM with Postgres. Then for the first time, you're going to take a look at stored procedures in Postgres and Python. Just something that we talked a little bit about uh, in the start of our SQL Essentials course. I'm going to show you how you can create those, how, how they actually work, what is their benefit, just to tie up some loose ends, some advanced loose ends. And then you are going to have your challenge. So that is going to be the structure of this chapter. Uh, see you in the next video.